Hello, Bomb here. Uh, this week we uh, do a little bit with the fruit in the uh, from out the garden and what the farmers brought us. And uh, I always also get on with using these. Uh, come along with us and see what we're going to do with them. So I'm just uh, watering my plants again, and I've just noticed, and I've just noticed that the uh, white flowers are out again on these uh, cucumbers. So we seem to have white ones and some yellow ones, and I believe, no, oh no, I thought they were on the same plant, but they're not. So is one a male and one a female? Can anybody tell me or? Are they just different types? They were all bought in the same, uh, all got in the same batch, so, or come from the same batch, so I thought they were all the same, but uh, as I say, they got quite a lot of yellow ones, which hopefully will fruit. We've got one what looks like it's, have we got like a pod on it? But there's a lot of yellow, a uh, lot of yellow ones with like. I presume these will turn into the cucumber. Oops, sorry, I presume this bit will turn into the cucumber. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the white ones are. Anybody can let us know. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little angry spider running round this cherry it's moving around the leaves and what have you seems to have some sort of yellow ring on its body for us it's finally time to harvest our cherries. Uh, there is two types of cherry trees in Portugal. There are the ones that are ready earlier in the season and we have the ones that are a bit later in the season. We've actually left some of these a little bit too long but better late than never so I'm just harvesting the ones that I can see that are good still. I have my gloves on because I did see quite a nasty spider as you'll have seen in the video which makes it a little bit more awkward but I'd rather struggle than get bitten by a spider. I don't think I brought a big enough dish. <laughs> Definitely didn't bring a big enough dish. <laughs> Oops, steady. Oh, oops. Split that, haven't you? Yeah. Looks like it was rotten in the middle though, to be fair. I'm not very good at this. Nope. So the farmer's next door has just been up again and bought us a bowl full of uh, plums. So yeah it looks like we'll be having plum crumble and plum pie and all sorts of things with them. Uh, depends what Debbie makes. We'll see. So 
the farmer very kindly brought us a big bowl of plums and Ellie Rose is just stoning them. Uh, the yellow plums and they're quite sweet. I didn't expect them to be. So she's going to stone them and I, then I think she's going to do um, a crumble or a pie or something with them. So it's a little cooler today, uh, so one of the jobs I'm going to do is start pulling some of these uh, weeds out between the beds. Then what we're going to do is we've got some of these plastic sacks. Um, these are two are full but we've got a few more uh, in the Adega and what have you. Uh, but we've got a few more in the Adega. Um, what we're going to do is just level the floor a little bit between them and then lay the bags down and break some roof tiles down onto them just to make it better to walk on a little bit easier and make it look a little bit prettier so you need to clear this round this end of the um, beds as well uh, I've already got some sacks down here as well which I need to pick up move all the weeds and then put them down uh, reed lay them so that they're flat and we'll try and do a patch down here as well because this is always filling up with weeds so I've just pulled the weeds out between this bed uh, just tidied the floor up a little bit I'm never going to get all the straw and what have you out of there because it's well dug in is some of it so it won't matter anyway um, then what I've done is opened the sacks what had the compost in it uh, I'm going to lay them down I've just kill the edges under just to keep it the right size and then uh, I'm going to put the sack in all the way to this end uh, fold it over when we get to right to the end of the beds here just across and then the roof tiles over there these roof tiles then are uh, going to get broken up like Ellie Rose did into small pieces and uh, yeah we'll use them as the um, walkways so hopefully they'll end up a bit like Ellie Rose's um, walkway here path uh, this is beginning to get a little bit overgrown it has been down a while uh, it's just a lot of it's crushed into the floor and uh, with it being raining and what have you so it needs another coat on its own um, but yeah it seems to have worked quite well there's a bit what moves about but hopefully between the uh, beds we won't be kicking it about quite as much So luckily enough these sacks are just a bit wide when they're opened up so I can just roll over the sides. We'll overlap them by about four inches uh, to each other. Uh, that's about four inches hundred mil.
And at the moment I'm just putting any stones I've got on them while I get something broken up to put on top, so... Yeah. The idea of this is just so it blocks the weeds from growing up through the stone when we get it broken up. Uh, there is one or two bits where it's not very level. Uh, there's a lump near the end, at that end. What's got like a bit of a tree stump there. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it'd have taken a lot of digging out. Um, I think most of it's dead anyway, so shouldn't have anything sprouting through it. So. Yeah, should be okay. So I'm just going to continue doing that and I'm going to do that between all the beds. I can say the idea is just to break them all up uh, and then just shovel them over and put them in the pile over there. So you get the general idea but I want this about two three inches thick so I'm going to have an awful lot of tiles to break up uh, and then one and two Three, four, four paths, five paths, uh, the strip across the back where the tomatoes are, uh, yeah, then we'll maybe put a, a piece of wood or something at this end just to stop it rolling out, I uh, don't know that one at the moment because I don't want to be tripping over it either so, yeah. Well that's where we're up to, so I'm going to keep doing that and I'll show you how we get on.
If you were wondering, I don't want to break them in place because if I start breaking them down there, I'm going to punch holes all over through the uh, plastic. So that's why I'm doing them over there. Uh, as well as that, that's the only sort of hard standing bit. But we've got and I can just brush from there into Ellie Rose's path with anything that's left. So, getting near done now, a uh, couple of bits at the back, but I want to put uh, uh, a sack across the back where the bigger stones are uh, and then we'll fill that in but that's sack, uh, that uh, filling in is going to go all the way along the back of the beds as well so I'm just doing one, one bit at a time uh, yeah one or two bits are a bit bigger than what I wanted in there but uh, yeah they'll break up as we go I mean, there's a quite a big bit near the front there as soon as you Anywhere near them, stand on them or anything, they just break down. So, yeah, we uh, want a few more in just to level it off a bit. It's a bit thin there, uh, just down here. Uh, it's a bit thin near that stump. Uh, I want to build it up, probably another layer at least. Uh, so, we'll crack on anyway. So I've just put this uh, log in just to uh, uh, retain the um, broken up tiles from coming forward. Uh, that's a little bit of a step. It's, yeah, it's okay. I've just pegged it in at the corners with a piece of wood, uh, about uh, eight inches long, I think they are, which should hold them in place. It seems to be pretty solid. So. Yeah, that's good. So that's how one of the finished paths will look, or hopefully all the finished paths will look in between. Um, some of the bits I'm not quite happy with, they're a bit bigger than what I wanted, uh, but uh, I think they'll break down as we walk on them. And we've plenty more tiles, so if, the, uh, if it starts getting a bit thin in patches, or we decide we want it a bit leveler, a bit higher or something, bit thicker we can uh, break some more up and do that. I'm also going to do the same across the back uh, which is why this end isn't sort of finished level as yet. So from where the tomato sacks are, because I can't move them at the moment, I'm going to do the same all along the back. 
and from the other side of the tomatoes down that way as well as all the gaps in between um, I should only need to put a retainer at you know, a wooden batten to retain it at the far end over there near where the cabbages have bolted so this uh, bed that I'm doing I realised after I'd put the first sack down which is right over near the tomatoes but you can see the white um, I realised that if you turn the sacks the other way over the black uh, which is a lot better really because if I don't get any holes any gaps in it it won't show white through it, it won't look as sort of messy uh, not that it should because they're gonna get like uh, that's the first layer on there uh, I want to build it up to the sort of similar sort of height to the sides in the middle um, so there's a lot of tiles to go down there yet uh, I'm using about oh, 10 tiles per load and breaking them up and that's my stack and as you can see where the uh, weeds have gone uh, because they've been covered by the tiles is where how many tiles I've used so far uh, started using some from down that end just to get them out, out of the way of the sand pile um, I don't know why I've changed my mind after a while uh, but this end I've emptied completely and I'm just going to work my way up now uh, up that way just got a little bit more of this uh, stone to break up uh, tiles should I say, not stone um, and then that'll finish my second row of uh, between the beds, a path between the beds so that's the second one uh, we're more or less done as I say, I'm just going to put the other row down I'm not going right to the back because of the tomato plants uh, but when we remove the tomato plants later I will be doing right up to the back uh, but I will be doing to the back behind all the rest of the beds uh, so yeah got a nail in there what I need to remove I forgot to do that I did spot it earlier and <laughs> haven't done so yet but, uh, so I've just got that uh, other pile of tiles as you saw what I'm breaking up and then that's it for the day So that's all for this week, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and don't forget to share it with your friends. And don't forget the links below for Instagram and Facebook and they're both at Portugal Dreams. And don't forget any comments you want to make please feel free to do so, bye!